Hey guys, so we've all been there. You're in class and have no idea what to do next. Then all of a sudden, boom! You remember that amazing flashcard game you saw on YouTube. So here we are with the top eight flashcard review games. Hey guys, welcome to Andy, the ESL guy. The cricket are going crazy tonight. Um, on this channel, I upload weekly videos and games, tips and techniques to help you out with your classes. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell. Cheers. Game number one, I call the Cup Tower Race. So you have two students, 10 cups per student. They have to build the tower as fast as they can, run over, say the words on each flashcard, run and sit down. So, let's take a look at how it's done. Are you ready? Ready, three, two, one, go! Game number two, I call PK Basketball. So, how to play the game, you put your flashcards in a line on the floor. You can stand at the end of the line with a small basket. So the two students, either side of the last flashcard, say the word, throw the ball. If they get it in, they can move to the next flashcard. Try again, say the word, throw the ball, get it in. Until they come to the final flashcard, run and sit down. So let's take a look at how it's done. Okay, ready, go. Ready. Game number three, I call clap and move. The way I play is draw some lines on the floor. So you have maybe five or six lines, about half a meter apart. If you can't draw on the floor, just use any object to show the distance they have to move, okay? So you can have two students, four students, even six students line up at the first line. You ask them a question. What's this? Show your flashcard. Bam! The first student to clap can move forward one if they are correct. Try again. Is this a blah, blah, blah? Bam! Yes, it is. Go forward one. Okay? Really fun game. Great for kids and adults. So, once again, let's take a look at how it's done. What's your name? Yes. Okay, forward one. What's this? Sorry. <laughs> it's a... Okay, so Sunny is the winner! Okay. Game number four. I call this one Catch or No Catch. Now, this is an older video on my channel. I thought I'd redo it for this one. So, simple game. On the board, write down some words the students are learning. Or put the flashcards on the board. Tick or smiley face means catch. X or sad face means no catch. For example, you have apple is catch, banana, no catch, door, catch, window, no catch. So your students stand up in a line or even in a circle. You have a ball or the dice, foam dice, you can throw. As you throw, you say the word. So if I say banana, they have to say banana, then no catch, banana, no catch. So boom. Try again, next to an apple, catch, okay, good job. Uh, door. Oh, door. No catch. Oh, sit down. So you can play the game one by one until you have one winner left. So let's take a look at how it's done. Okay, go. Go. Catch. Okay, fine. Turn up. Go. Go. Uh, fish. Fish. Good job. Fish. Fish. Catch. Fish. You said fish. Fish. Turn up. Game number five, I call Flashcard Twister. 
So the same as the game Twister, put your hand on blue, put your foot on red, put your left hand on yellow. Okay, so you can put the flashcards on the floor. I normally start right foot, left foot, right hand, left hand. So you scatter the flashcards on the floor. Normally, once they're in the position, I have them hold for five seconds. So let's take a look at how it's done. Bird. So you say bird. Bird. Dog. Dog. Rabbit. Rabbit. Fish. Fish. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Go so ready, five, four, three, two, one, go! Game number six. Now, I call this game Find the Word. Now, it's basically a directions game. So if you're teaching directions, it's perfect. So put your flashcards on the floor, blindfold one student, and the other student has to direct them to the flashcard, okay? Now you can give them a time limit, maybe one minute per game, and see how many cards they can find in that time. So let's take a look at how it's done. Uh, cat. Um, there's something called street. Cat. 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 And you can just hold the focus on it. Full street. Stop. Turn right. Full street. Stop. Pick up. Okay, time is up. Game number seven, I call the zombie game or bomb game, depending on the class. So, very simple game. Have your flashcards in your hand and assign one of the words to be the zombie or the bomb. Okay? So, for example, the students are at this side of the classroom, you're at this side. You say, cat is the zombie, cat is the boss, okay? So here we go, we have dog, turtle, horse, cow, what's this? It's a cat, chase them back. So you can try again, uh, you can even allow the students to be the teacher. So once again, let's take a look at how it's done. Okay, so everyone stand up. So today, if you see the cat, cat can sit down, okay? Okay. Okay, so can you tell me what's this? Dog. Dog, good, go, go, go. So everyone goes this time, okay? This one? No, no. Turtle, come on, what's this? Bird. Bird, this one? Fish. Fish, what's this? Cat. Cat, what's this? Okay, we'll try again, stand up. Okay, this time, if you see the bird, bird is bomb, sit down, okay? So this one? Okay, the last game for this video is called True or False. Now, this is an amazing game. Great fun for kids, teenagers, or adults. So, on the floor, I have two lines, maybe half a meter apart, okay? So, this side is true, this side is false. So, you show the flashcard. It's a dog. No, it's not. Go this way. Oh, one student goes there. Oh, yes, it oh, no. So keep playing. It's a cat. Yes, it is. The student who's the slowest has to sit down. Okay, and just make sure they, they speak English whilst playing the game. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You can also develop the game by asking questions or playing simply yes or no. Okay, so let's take a look at how it's done. It's a fish. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, good job. It's a dog. No, no, it is My name is Happy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good job. So I'm Andy. Yes, it is. Okay, try again. So if you have so many students, sorry, you can sit down. Okay. So try again. It's a turtle. Yes, it is. Okay, right. It's a turtle. No, no, it isn't. It's a fish. Yes, it is. It's a cat. Yes, it is. It's a dog. Yes, it is. It's a banana. No, no it isn't. Okay, good job. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.